All right. Uh, hello, everybody. It's been a while. We have had a change in venue, and I am at a uh, really cool new apartment. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's very nice. Um. This is a uh, kind of a desperate attempt to get some kind of teeth back into creating, right? Like, I have to, I gotta do something, you know? Um, uh, like, the, the editing and all of that stuff is a craft that I really want to, um, you know, do regularly and, and have it fresh in my head and make sure that I'm not letting my skills, um, just atrophy because that's, that's definitely what's happening. You know, the last film that I put, or the last video film, <laughs> shit, uh, the last video that I put out, uh, I, I, I edited that. I, I at least cut out some of the dead, you know, dead air. Um, but by the time I uploaded it, I, I didn't even fucking know how to upload it right anymore. And it's like, that was uh, its own little pop of anxiety. Um, I, I've definitely been having trouble doing it, though, trying to make anything, because every time I think I got an idea or something, some new horrible shit happens, and it's like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, what am I doing? I, I should be, I should be, like, you know, figuring out a way that I can be uh, fucking helping this situation because me making a video and trying to be funny right now is, is, it's fucking wearing white during a funeral. It's, it's sick, you know? And, and part of me looks at the creators on YouTube just creating normal material and I fucking panic. I'm like, oh my God, what's happening? But if I didn't have that shit, I'd have nothing to buffer with, you know? And, um... Yeah, it's like, it's like, I feel, uh, always like, you know, I should be doing something and that like things shouldn't be so normal, but if I didn't have those crutches of mine, you know, I'd be going fucking insane. And maybe, maybe I just should, you know? Ugh. I got such a tough time right now, you know? And I really don't know how other people disconnect. I just don't, you know? Um, I admire. Okay, as somebody who cooks, I really admire people who make sure that people get fed, you know? It's, it's, it's just such a cool fucking thing, you know? The vibes on those people are the best. The, the fucking chill on them is the max, you know? And, uh... Just, just making sure that people don't go hungry. It's, it's not that complicated, you know? It, it's just like, you can just want to make sure that nobody goes hungry and you don't have to be an intellectual or like, you know, some kind of a uh, philosophical guru to be able to make sure that that impacts everybody, you know? 
And if somebody doesn't believe the same things as you, fine. Fuck, who gives a shit? Have you eaten, you know? And I bake, right? <laughs> do do y'all, do any of y'all out there bake? It's, it's just, uh, it's a way to, you know, really connect with the food. And, you know, it's like, it, it's just a sort of magic, you know? And you learn how to do it and you become proficient at it. And, um... It's a skill that is evidently appreciated, you know? When shit started going down, it was like, uh, the bakeries and the people who could bake became, like, a real linchpin for the society, you know? And, and the smell of fresh baked bread, it gives people hope. Believe it or not, you know? I think it's... It's part of our, uh, the way our ancestors survived, you know? It's like you smell fresh baked bread and, and it just activates a neuron or something. It's just like, oh, fucking, you know, we, it, there, there is hope. And those are the people that they fucking went after the hardest, you know? The people that just had chill, you know? <sighs> And the people that just wanted to make sure everybody got fed. You know, those are, those are like, that's, that's how they fucking had their tactical maneuver, you know? Um, Mr. Rogers said something along the lines, I don't know if I'm quoting it like perfectly, but he said, uh, when the times are their worst, you know, look for the helpers because that's where you'll find hope. It's, it's pretty close to that, you know? And those were the people that they fucking went after first because they knew they were trying to fucking extinguish hope but as hard as they can. Everything we know about hope, they were trying to fucking wipe out. And I am just like, I, I have a tough time concentrating when I cook, you know? I want to believe I could be one of those people that makes sure that people get fed, you know? I, I strive to be that, but somewhere between my executive dysfunction and my fucking resentment and, and just all the things that, like, I can't seem to piece together to become that person. It's like... Uh, like, they had it together enough to do that. And, and it's like, that's where they fucking started. And thank goodness, thank goodness for people like Noah Sampson. And uh, Ethan is online, I think. I think his second uh, channel is Pethan or something like that. But it's like, it, if they weren't around, I'd be going fucking crazy. You know? It's like there's already such dampeners everywhere so that you don't fucking hear about this shit as, as loud and proud as they want to be about it. You know, the, the people who want to feel comfortable, they're allowed, they're allowed to. They get plenty of space to fucking feel comfortable and, and be shielded from all this shit. And that, that is fucking how we spent history, you know? Like, this, this country does some gnarly shit, and they just allow that space for people to be comfortable. And there was a saying that, that I, I heard about uh, recently, you know? This is, there's just so many things that are fucking plain to the world that I am just learning about recently because like I was complicit in this kind of fucking ignorance you know I don't know how much of it was me just wanting to feel comfortable but 
I don't feel fucking comfortable anymore. You know? And the saying is something like, the truth was hidden from us once, but now we hide from the truth. And I don't know when that was, like, really evident about America, but it's like, I definitely feel like the truth is no longer hidden. For at least a small, a fucking sliver of, of this, like, horrible shit that's happening. And I feel like, I feel like this has probably been the norm for more than, than anybody can fucking account for in the public, you know? I don't even know what I just said. I just bet that it's been the fucking case forever because we find, we find that like we were on the wrong side of a lot of things like Vietnam or something like that. And um, yeah, we acknowledge it, you know, tacitly way later when, when there's like no, no active feeling about it or apologizing to be done. Oh God. It's just fucking crazy, you know? I forget what else I really wanted to talk about because honestly, like, it's just, it's just so hard to stay focused, you know? Like, I'm sitting there, I'm making my bread, right? And there, there is one video in particular. It's, it, it, it breaks my fucking train of thought every time. And it's uh, a video of this uh, Palestinian man with Down syndrome. And it's like, there's no hint of bravado or machismo there, or like, you know, that kind of spirit that's like, ah, oh, fucking, I'm prepared to die. Fuck you, uh, oppressor, you know, that all of us would like to have. Like that surgeon that they tortured to death. It's like, we can't all be some fucking, like, Superman inside. And, and he's just like, he's just begging. He's like, please, I don't want to die, you know. And it's like, food's already hard enough to get out there. So it's like, you know, it can't be easier for him to get than anybody else. Because, like, people are fucking having to swim out into the ocean to get, to get their shit. Or, like, um, there, there was a video I just saw of, like, a, a, a care package, you know? Hopefully the insides weren't, like, fucking maggot infested like some of them have been. But there was a care package that landed on top of a collapsing building and at least three people fucking fell off of it because like it was positioned in such a way that the floor was about to give and they were just standing there in this like they fell so far you know I, I can only hope that they, they, they're resilient enough not to you know to take serious injury on that but who are we fucking kidding you know It's just so fucking hypocritical to be sitting here making bread in my fucking amazing kitchen with all my spices. While they're out there eating like animal feed and when they're when they're fucking allowed to have any fucking animal feed or some shit like that. Drinking bad water to fucking Yeah. And it, there's a toll. There's a toll that that takes on people. You don't bounce back from that. And it's like, it's it's just so obvious. It's just so obvious, like where the conversation is right now on it. It's just like, 
there, there's a there's a, a fucking post that that the conversation stays at publicly. You know, it's like, oh well, you know, this is if you don't want this to happen, it's just anti-Semitism. It's like that that fucking as long as it never goes past that in like for the public officials that's good enough for everybody there's your comfort zone you know it's like all these fucking kids who are actually paying attention because they don't have to work like fucking 18 hours a day to pay the fucking rent guess what they're the only ones with enough time to pay attention and they they all in solidarity on this oh well fucking what's the odds of that you know give me a fucking break piece of shit comfortable piece of shit I know one comfortable piece of shit in particular keeps getting back to me on my fucking Instagram posts I think you know who you are if you're watching this Fuck you. Right? You can call me out on this, too. And I'll say, oh, hey, you're right. Fucking telling me to smile. Fucking telling me all this shit. Is, oh, well, this is just how things go, you know. You better... You can just, like, stop caring about that and start smiling. Eat a bag of shit. You fucker. Your fucking complicity comes from your comfort. And now that you know, now that you know, if you know anything to any extent, the burden's on you, fucker. If the truth was hidden from you at one point, well, fine, be comfortable. But if for so, if any, if anything slipped through, guess what? That shit's on you now. <clears throat> so you go hide. Now that it's not hidden from you, you go fucking hide. But don't you dare say anything to me. like <sighs> yeah I'm struggling I'm struggling I'm um, struggling to put anything together to be like hey I'm, I'm trying to make people laugh you know and I don't know if I'm fucking good enough to make a video that's like hey you know here's some real shit here's some real shit that's going on because you need to know what you're doing. You need to know what you're doing to fucking make a salient enough point and get the right amount of research before you do it. Because there's way too much shit online. It's just like, um, it's either pointing people in the wrong direction or you couldn't give a shit about it anyway because it's just like, it's not done. It's not done well enough, you know? And that, that kind of proficiency is, like, it's the gap here in America, you know? Okay. I, I, I want to talk about, like, conceptual realities versus, like, you know, the real shit, you know? Um, it's like me having a broken fridge, right? Say you have a broken fridge. It's, okay, only if you're if you know nothing about refrigerators. If you're a refrigerator repairman, uh, fine. It, it's not that anymore. It's uh, your car, and if it's not your car, maybe it's your laptop or something. Okay, like if you're if you're if you're amazing repairman at a refrigerator and you know how to work on your car, just imagine it's some piece of technology that you can't grasp. You know, it's out there, right? What is it for you? You know, is it like how barcode scanners read? Is it how like fucking 
satellite technology works, I don't know. Just think of the one thing that maybe you don't know if you're a genius, right? But that is like, that is the, the stopgap between most people and making things happen, you know? Sometimes you need to really know what you're doing in order to understand the science behind something in order to make the change, right? And, like, I don't know how you do that, right? Because most people want a stop to what's going on, you know? But that's, that's missing technology, right? That, that if you could do the one thing, if you could say, oh, it's this part, take that out, put, put that back in, and it starts working immediately, uh, it's like, that person hasn't showed up to do this, and I'm, I'm positive that if that person did show up, they would be dealt with, because they don't want the solution, okay? Because the solution would stop their power and their money, right? So all of a sudden, if your broken refrigerator needs to be fixed, but the only people who are coming to fix it want to put a bomb in it. Well, now, now what, what could you possibly do? That's where we're at, you know? I don't know how to fix that fridge. I need it fixed, but the only people who can do anything to it will sabotage it, right? That, that's the fucking predicament. Like, if... If there was any concept of men that had any validity, one of them would be that freaking people would be getting together now and going to the leaders and making that shit stop. But people like Fred Hampton, who got shot in his bed, you know, they don't get that. <laughs> they don't get to do that. They get dealt with. You see what I'm saying? You know? Um, it's, it's just like, there is such a resistance to change right now that, like, I can only hope that something, it, something massive happens, and there is tremendous backlash, and all of the intellectuals that are the people who know how to do something about this just come flooding the fuck out. So I can find somebody to fix my fridge. Because my shit's spoiling. <laughs> And that, that thing that was in me, a couple of videos that said, hey, we gotta do something for the kids. Oh my God. It's just festering. It's festering inside me. Yeah, I got nothing, nothing really to, uh, to end this with, right? I, I don't know what can be trusted in terms of, like, you know, um, philanthropy services for this. I, I can only imagine that there are probably bad players out there getting money together for things that aren't, you know, trying to get these people help. And, um, I don't know if, like, a lot of the efforts to get them out, I don't know how many of them are genuine, right? 
Like, there's a certain amount of effort to just displacing all of these people because that's that seems to be the real point of it all, right? To to to, to get their land and their oil and shit, build condos. Trump Jr. build condos, right? Out there or some shit. Um, I just don't even know. Like, I, I, I just can't even concentrate most of the time. So, if, if, if any of this shit doesn't make sense, just know that it's like, yeah, I've, I lose sleep. I lose sleep over it. I definitely can't, like, fucking keep my thoughts together during the day. Um, and, and, and I don't know shit. I don't know shit about it. I sit here, I get to watch my fucking, you know, my YouTube videos and shit. And, and, and it only, it only touches me in the slightest. And people are living that shit. My whole life. My whole life. People have been fucking swimming. You know, capsizing. Fucking, you know, going under. And I'm sitting here in my 40s. Just learning about what it means to get wet. What am I supposed to do? Talk to them? You know, about about some shit I know nothing about? About a broken fridge? <sighs> and it's for so many things. It's for so many things, you know? None of it is as bad is what's happening to the Palestinians, but it's still, like, you think you know racism. You think you know racism because America gives you the fucking mecca ultra racist uncle in your family, you know? A fucking kaiju of racism, and you're like, oh, well, that's racism. You know, I want to make sure I'm not like that. But guess what? There's like fucking several orders of magnitude of shit that's just like floating around out there that you just glean from popular media or something. That that just like it just gets it just gets in there, it just worms your way into your fucking head until it's infested. And like when those worms come out. They each, they each fucking take a bit of your sanity with them, you know? Uh, because there's always been so much suffering, you know? The amount that Palestine has touched me, like, e even... Just a, just a fucking sliver of that. I hear about shit in the Congo and the Sudan. I just fucking, just a, just a teeny whisper. And that shit looks fucking insane. If I knew any more about that, I would lose even more sleep. And that, that, that's, that's some shit that they're just admitting about this TikTok situation. Right? I, I don't, I'm not on TikTok. I downloaded it once. I'm like, how do you fucking how do i grandpa my way through this i couldn't you know but i know most of the important shit i see on twitter is just like somebody retweeting it from tiktok you know and there's so many people that have laser focused fucking concise evidence of so much bullshit that we've been lulled into that it's like, yeah, if you wanted to be a fucking oppressive fucking military industrial complex bullshit state, you, you would you would in a heartbeat try to ban something like this. And it, it was pretty much that close, wasn't it? 
You know, think about anything that the American people have really fucking needed. And think of how, how, how long that shit's taking. Right? What was it? I, I saw some... I saw a fucking promise by Joe Biden. I, I trust zero promise from fucking Joe Biden. But he's like, oh yeah, in 20 years or something, we're going to make sure that there's no lead pipes in America. When was Flint? When was Flint? Oh, God damn it. God damn it. You know? I believe there's all kinds of fucking evil shit at, foot, or at work here. And um, I think Hawaii is probably part of it, you know? It's like any criticism of Hawaii was just like, ah, oh, what, you believe there's Jewish space lasers or something? It's like, why? why is that? Why is that the criticism? You know, why isn't it just like on the down low, some arsonist who went in there to, to like light things up to make sure that all of these really fucking sweet deals are going through right now, you know, and pushing out all the indigenous people. It's like, it doesn't have to be some big conspiracy, but you wanted to make it seem like that, didn't you? You know? They were already poisoning their water with the Red Hill shit, right? That, is that what it was called? The military dumping all that shit into their water? It's like, no, this is, there's, look, they did something to their water. Just, just like what's happening right now, too. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It really feels like there's just a lot of things that rhyme. You know, when you go back through history and, and you look at things now and you look at things then, it's like, hmm. There, there's, there's some shit going on, isn't there? <sighs> okay. Alright. I don't know what's left to say. But, um... Yeah. Some of those things could just be, like, really opportunistic for uh, the fucking powers that be. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if it wasn't just a coincidence. Because it's like enough time passes and you find out it wasn't a coincidence. You know, about so many fucking things. Ugh. Check out the food pyramid, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, well, we didn't know. It's like, no, you just took a bunch of money at the right time because you did have the right food pyramid. And, and just because you wanted to get a little extra scratch and pocket that lobbyist money, everybody had a worse life for it. And that was just that one little thing. Why can't we believe that more things are like that now? You know? I look at those APAC donations, and it's like, yeah, that's, that's so much money to convince people to just be behind this, like, obvious, obvious evil, right? That food pyramid thing was an obvious evil. It wasn't nearly as big, but the payout wasn't nearly as much. Proportional. This is those people's job. This is this is how they consider a successful career going when you do that. You know? If you're a successful CEO or something, laying a ton of people off is successful for you. It's it's the greater evil. It's like making sure that those people are gonna suffer, but it's good for you. And that means you're successful in your job position. It's terrible. <laughs> what a horrific standard we have, everybody. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, yeah, the next video is not going to be such a fucking bummer. Hopefully. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be anything more than this. Or if, if I even have my shit together enough to do this. Alright, thank you. Bye.